Yeah, I think uh, the the, uh, the first time is always special, but now it's home in you know my hometown and where I play every night and what I represent uh, about the team is um, is great and uh, there's an excitement and a buzz around the city and it's a buzz around me and my family and my friends and especially a buzz for me and Demar. So it's, it's a special time. And to share with Demar, that must be a real extra. Yeah, it, it means the world, man. You know, because it's, it's, it's our our leaders of the two leaders of our team. You know, we we put our blood, sweat, and tears into the, the, the organization and what we do. Oh. And uh, you know, it's just been good. It's just been it's just been a, a good season so far. Do you get a chance to play host a little bit because this is in Toronto? Yeah, a little bit, but we kind of uh, you know, kind of stand a little bit more low key and, and not trying to do everything rip and run all day. But you know, when people call me and ask me where I need to, you know where to go and where to do dinner. I, I give them a few tips here and there. What are the tips? Uh, stay out of traffic. <laughs> um, you know, go to a couple restaurants here and there. There's good restaurants that I like, and I'll make a call or two, and you know, make sure they get good tables, and make sure my people take care of them. Okay. Uh, it's your first time all, all, all star, but at the same time, it's Kobe's last time. Say that again. The, it's your first time. No, it's not. Uh, I'm sorry, it's the second. All right. Time. And then and it's Kobe's uh, last uh, yeah. all star. Does it mean something? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, I think it means a lot to every man, is, uh, every all star this year, because you know, like we said, he's the Michael Jordan of our era. He's um, the most competitive player a lot of us have played against and um, the things he, he's done throughout his career, the things he, he's done to, to change the game and to, to motivate other players is, is, uh, is unbelievable. Is there okay, any chance you're going to go for MVP? Who? You. Uh, I'm just going to go out there and have fun, man. Enjoy the game. Kyle, yeah, you're from Philly. Right, you from right, Philly. Right. Growing up, was he a guy that you you know tried to, that you looked up to as basketball-wise? Well, he was a Laker and, you know, we got, they beat us in the Sixers, so it was a little thing. But, of course, he's a guy we grew up watching and, um, you know, we respect because of where he's from. He's he really from the Philly and I'm from Philly, so um, the things he's done to put the city on the map and it, it's unmatchable. Kyle, how, how, much much is, how much different is this? I, I mean, other than playing host. I mean, like last year was your first year making the right. start. It was kind of like you finally got your respect. How is this year different for you? Um, it's home. It's in my home city. It's where I play every single night, like I said. Um, I can play host, you know, unofficial official host. Um, but it's just one thing to be able to represent the, the, the team, the country, the city. Like I do every single night, I step on that floor. How much do you think the perception of Toronto has changed since the time that you've been in Toronto? I think it's changed a lot. You know, Toronto was kind of one of the teams that you bet, oh, it's good, they're good, but, you know, they're Toronto. But now, you know, we, we've really become a force. You know, we're winning games. We're you know, 48, 49 wins. You know, unfortunately, the playoffs haven't turned into what we wanted to do. But um, every year we're getting better. The organization is getting better. The team's getting better. Players are growing. Um, you know, I, me staying, hopefully that changes, you know, people's perception about people leaving and coming here, having a couple of good years and leaving. Me staying was a reason for me to try to change that perception. How about the city? Do you think the perception of the city has changed around the league? I, I, think, I think everyone always has loved the city. Everyone loves Toronto. Um, it's been a place where people always enjoy coming. Um, the cold weather is kind of killing it this weekend, but uh, hopefully the city and the, and the, the atmosphere and the events kind of change that. You and DeMar's personalities are quite different. Your game is quite different. <laughs> How is what's the genesis of your friendship considering all the outside differences? Uh, I think that's why we get along, because of our outside differences. I think we get along so well because we are different. You know, we can work on the other side of each spectrum and um, it's been working for us you know I think we just genuinely care about the game um, and we work hard we know how hard each other works and we know how extremely tough it is to be successful in this league and for him him coming from a, a 19 year old and, and not being a, a winner until you know a couple years into his NBA career till now he was an all-star two-time all-star and uh, one hell of a player see he was an all-star before you were an all-star before this is first time yeah together that must mean a little bit it's special it's special for us to both be all stars because at the same time in our hometown, our home, you know, uh, our home country that we play in, um, it's just special, man. It's just the hard work that we've put in individually, the hard work that we put in as a team, it, it, it's showing, it's paying off. And, you know, to have both of us in the game, it, it means that we, we're doing something right. Sure. Hey, oh, yeah, I gotta stop now. I gotta talk the big shot now. Talk, First of all, hold on, you got your jersey tied. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Big boy okay. up there. Yeah, absolutely. Right. I'll be at yours when it happens. One day. One day. Absolutely. Congratulations on your second start. Thank you. Obviously. What would it mean for you in this town to be MVP of the game? <laughs> what would it mean? Um, wow. 
Wow. Uh, I didn't even think about that. I don't think I'm going to give them a shot to uh, the guys I got on my team. But uh, if I got the MVP, that was just you know, something I would strive for. I think it would put the city on the map a little bit more and put the Toronto Raptors on the map around the world even more. You know, we're big up here in Canada. Try to make it more work globally. So I think that would definitely help. And I know your team player. What does it mean to you to have DeMar DeRozan in the back row with you in this game? It means everything. You know, to, to show the hard work that we both put in you know, every single day, every summer, day, to, to throw, to get better, and to push, to strive to be great. And it just means that we're doing something right and we're on the right path to something special. So uh, the words really can't describe it, but the feeling is there that it's just unnatural. I'm going to try to find your head coach. I think you got a couple plays you're going to draw for you. I actually he said he ain't running no plays. I said, no, you got to give me something. You got to throw me a bone here and there. You know what I'm saying? I'll try to help you out with that. Good luck. Kyle, have you done any practicing for the three-point competition to get some shots up off the racks? I haven't yet. Uh, DeMar stood me up last night. Uh, we were supposed to go work on that. But uh, I'm going to go get some, I'm going to practice a little bit and uh, enjoy it. Man. I, I, I definitely think it's going to be fun. I know everyone's everyone's probably playing for second or third with the Splash Brothers in there. And uh, But it's going to be fun, man. I think it's just it's just a moment where I'm going to go out there, represent represent my team, represent the country, and represent the city well. Is that the main event now, giving the roster of players? <laughs> I think it's going to be a main event because, you know, it, like you said, the players are in it, the, the roster is strong. Um, the dunk contest is always the most hyped, but I think the, the, the three ball, the way the game is played now, the three ball is an important part of the game, so everyone's watching the three ball. So I think it's going to be fun, man.